Hey, everyone. Ready for another deep dive? Always. Okay, good. So today we're tackling nursing job interviews. Oh, fun. Yeah, right. I mean, I know they can be stressful, but we're actually looking at this super helpful YouTube video from How to Become. Okay. And they have some seriously insightful stuff in there, like way more than just your basic dress professionally tips. Yeah. It's more about like really understanding what hiring managers are looking for. Mm -hmm. So you can really showcase yourself as the perfect candidate for that specific job at that specific place. Yeah, that's what I find really insightful is how how to become emphasizes that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just about you know, knowing the answers. Yeah. It's about understanding what they're truly looking for mm -hmm. and showcasing yourself. Right. Like as the ideal candidate. Exactly. For that specific role and facility. Right. So it's less about reciting textbook answers and more about the bigger picture, right? Precisely. No. And they, they break down this interview prep into like a three pillar approach. Okay. And starting with researching the facility. Okay. And this is something that um, a lot of people miss, I think. Mm. Where they just sort of think, oh, hey, well, it's a hospital or it's a clinic. Right. I know what they do. Right. But you want to go deeper than that. Okay. You really want to like dig into their website. Like what am I looking for though? If I'm on their website, what kind of clues should I be looking for? You're looking for things like their mission and values statements. Oh, okay. You know, look for things like, you know, what kind of awards they've won recently. No. Huh. What kind of community initiatives they're involved in. Okay. Even like challenges they might be facing. Like have they recently opened a new wing? Oh, interesting. Or implemented some new patient care technology? All right. All of this stuff is going to help you tailor your answers yeah. to their specific needs. Right. Because it shows that you're not just looking for a job. Mm -hmm. You're interested in their specific goals and contributions. Yes. Like, you've done your homework. Yes. And you're genuinely interested in that organization. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah, it's about showing them you've done your research. Okay, so we've researched the facility like a pro. Right. What is pillar number two? Pillar number two is all about understanding the job role itself. Oh, okay. And how to become really hammers home this point of treating the job description like a blueprint. Yeah, because every job is different even within nursing. Exactly. Yeah. Don't just like skim the job description. Right. Like print it out. Oh. Highlight key phrases. Okay. If they're really emphasizing, you know, patient education mm -hmm. or experience with specific equipment, that's your cue to tailor your answers. Oh, okay. And examples accordingly. So I'm like practically building my interview responses based on their wish list. Yeah. Like it's like a custom designed resume, but spoken. Exactly. Okay. And then that leads us to the third pillar, which is practicing those common nursing interview questions. Oh, gosh. This is where I always get nervous. Yeah. Like, tell me about a time you dealt with a difficult patient. Like, how do you even prepare for that? Well, How to Become actually offers some brilliant sample answers. Oh, yeah. And I think one of the things they suggest is, you know, yeah. for that particular question, yeah. focusing on a situation where maybe you had to advocate for a patient's needs. Okay. Maybe there was like a complex care plan that you had to kind of navigate. Oh. Or a family member who was hesitant about a treatment. Okay. You know, so it's really about showcasing how you use your skills to navigate those situations. That's so smart because every nurse has dealt with those tricky situations. Wow. It's just about how you show that you can navigate them. And that's where the STAR method comes in. Ooh, tell me more. But maybe we should save that for part two. Oh man, a cliffhanger. All right, listeners, we are just getting warmed up. Yeah. Stick around for part two where we unpack this star method. We'll break it all down. And we'll dig into even more interview gold from how to become. It's going to be good. <laughs> all right. So remember that cliffhanger? I do. The uh, star method. Yes. Back to those tricky interview questions and the star method that how to become talks about. Yes. Spill the tea. Okay. Star so method. is this magic formula? It's not magic. Okay. But it's a really powerful way to structure your answers. Okay. Um, so STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. S-T-A-R. <laughs> okay. I don't follow what? it. Right. But how does it actually work? Like in I, practice. So let's say you get that question. Tell me about a time you dealt with a difficult patient. Ugh, I hate that one. Right. So you start by like setting the scene. Like what was the situation? Okay. Maybe you had a patient who's refusing medication. Okay. Or a patient who's becoming agitated. Right. So I paint a picture of the challenge. Yeah. Then what? Then you explain the task at hand. Oh, okay. So was it to de-escalate the situation? Okay. Was it to ensure that the patient received the necessary care? Got it. You know, despite their resistance? Mm-hmm. 
So you're really clearly defining what you needed to achieve. Yeah. Okay, so I've laid out the problem and now what? Like now I need to show them I'm the solution. Exactly. That's okay. where the action comes in. Okay. So what specific steps did you take? Right. Did you employ active listening techniques? Mm -hmm. Did you collaborate with other healthcare professionals? Yeah, okay. Um, you know, how did you adapt your approach to the patient's individual needs? Um. So I'm not just saying I'm a good communicator. Right. I'm giving specific examples yeah. of how I communicated. Exactly. Okay. You're getting it. Okay, good. And then finally, don't forget the result. Okay. What was the outcome of your actions? Right. Did the patient calm down? Mm -hmm. Did they agree to the treatment? Okay. Did you learn something valuable from that experience that maybe changed your approach in the future? So I'm showing them that I don't just handle tough situations. Yeah. I learn and grow from them. Exactly. This STAR method is genius. I know. It's pretty cool. It's like every challenging experience yeah. becomes like a mini success story. And, you know, and remember, like, tailor your STAR stories. Oh, okay. To highlight the skills they're looking for in that job description. Right. So if they're really emphasizing teamwork, you want to emphasize situations where you collaborated effectively. Right. Okay. So it's like I'm giving them a cheat sheet that's yeah. like, here are all the reasons why I'm perfect for this role. Exactly. Okay. So we've covered research, understanding the job role, yeah. star method. Yeah. Um, what else should we be prepared for? Well, something that How to Become also points out that's often overlooked okay is the the power of showcasing your soft skills oh yeah okay soft skills so like communication empathy problem solving yeah all the good stuff but i feel like those are hard to like quantify in an interview they are but they're essential to being a good nurse yeah like you think about it mm -hmm. you're constantly interacting with patients right from diverse backgrounds mm. dealing with stressful situations working as part of a team it's not just about knowing like the medical procedures. It's about like connecting with people. Absolutely. So how do we demonstrate that in an interview though? Yeah. Do you just say like, I'm an empathetic person? No, like, you gotta show it. Okay. So how to become gives a great example. Okay. They suggest talking about a time when you had to communicate with a patient who didn't speak English. Oh. Or who had certain cultural beliefs that impacted their care. Oh, that's a really good example. Like yeah. something that most nurses have encountered. Right, and it really forces you to think outside the box. Totally. In terms of communication. Yeah, did you use visual aids? Okay. Did you involve a translator? Right. Did you take the time to really understand their perspective? Absolutely. Yeah, and like, and it goes beyond just that patient, right? Yes. It shows you're adaptable. Oh, exactly. You're resourceful. Yeah. Which are really important skills in any nursing setting. Precisely. I like it. And it kind of brings us to another point that how to become emphasizes, which is the importance of professionalism. Oh, okay. So like first impressions matter. Yes. We all know to dress professionally, but what does that actually look like in a nursing interview? Yeah. It's really about projecting confidence and competence. Okay. So like arrive on time, mm -hmm. maybe even a few minutes early to show that you're punctual and eager. Okay. Make eye contact, smile. <laughs> yeah. Make eye contact, smile, genuinely offer a firm handshake. Right. All of these things send a message mm. about your demeanor and how you'd interact with patients and colleagues. So it's not just what you say. Right. It's how you carry yourself. Exactly. It's all about showing, not telling. I'm sensing a theme here. Yes. But there's one more piece of the puzzle that How to Become highlights. Oh, what? And it happens after the interview is over. What happens after you've left the room? This is where a lot of candidates miss a crucial opportunity. Okay. How to become really stresses the importance of following up. Oh, you mean like a thank you note? Yeah, more than just a generic thank you. It's a chance to reiterate your interest. Mm. Maybe highlight something specific you discussed during the interview. Oh, okay. Showcase your attention to detail. Right. It shows that you're genuinely invested. Okay, so I'm sending a personalized thank you note? Yes. Handwritten or email? Yeah, either one. Within 24 hours of the interview. Exactly. Got it. Anything else I should be doing post-interview? How to Become recommends taking some time for reflection. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, think about what went, well, what could have been better? Okay. And how you can apply those insights to future interviews. That's so important because it's easy to just like breathe a sigh of relief and move on. Right. But taking the time to reflect can be so valuable. Absolutely. Yeah. It helps you identify you know, your strengths and weaknesses, refine your approach. Right. And, you know, continuously improve your interviewing skills. And even if you don't get the job, 
Like the experience is valuable. You've gained practice. Yep. Learn new techniques. You'll be even more prepared for the next opportunity. Oh my gosh. This has been such a gold mine of information. I know, right? We've covered so much. Yeah, we have. Like I feel like we've gone from feeling nervous about interview questions to feeling like we have a whole toolkit. I have a whole arsenal yes. of strategies to ace them. But before we wrap up, I think we should revisit how to becomes suggestion about like tailoring your approach to specific nursing roles. Oh, there's a great point. Right. There's no one size fits all approach and to nursing interviews. It's so. like you wouldn't wear scrubs to a board meeting. <laughs> exactly. You got to dress for the occasion. Yes. All right. So let's break this down. Yeah. How do we tailor our approach to specific nursing roles? Okay. So just like your attire. Okay. Your interview strategy should also like reflect the environment. Okay. And demands yeah. of the specific role that you're pursuing. Okay, so let's say I'm interviewing for a fast-paced emergency room. Okay. ER. ER position. Yeah. So chaos, adrenaline, quick decisions, <laughs> right? Lots yeah, of action. What kind of skills should I be highlighting there? So you want to think about like the qualities okay. that thrive in that type of environment. Okay. So critical thinking under pressure. Okay. The ability to prioritize tasks effectively. Right. Strong communication skills in like those high stress situations. So maybe I'd talk about a time I had to triage patients during a code. Exactly. Or how I worked with a team to stabilize a critical patient. Perfect. Right. Those are great examples. Yeah. Because it shows that you can think on your feet. Right. And make sound judgments when time is of the essence. Exactly. Okay. So now let's contrast that with say a position in a long-term care facility. Okay. A completely different environment. Yeah. Much slower pace. Slower pace. The focus is more on building relationships right. with patients. Mm -hmm. Providing ongoing care and support. Exactly. It's a very different skill set. Yes. Yeah. So in this setting, you'd want to emphasize, you know, your patients, mm -hmm. your empathy. Yeah. Your ability to connect with patients on a personal level. So maybe I talk about a time that I helped a resident cope with anxiety. Oh, that's a good one. Or like how I developed a creative approach to encourage a patient to participate in physical therapy. Yeah. Those are excellent examples. Yeah. Because it shows that you understand, right. you know, the unique challenges okay. and rewards mm -hmm. of long-term care. So it's all about aligning your experiences and your skills yes. with needs of the role. Precisely. This is making so much sense to me now. Good. It's not just about having the same answers for every interview. Right. It's about like pulling out the pieces that are relevant exactly. to what they're looking for. And the more you can demonstrate yeah. a genuine understanding of the role okay. and the facility, mm -hmm. the more you're going to impress those interviewers. I like it. Do your research think critically? Yes. About what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And then tailor those answers. Tailor, tailor, tailor. Yes. This whole deep dive has been amazing. I'm glad to hear that. We've gone from nervous to feeling prepared, I feel like. You got this. And, you know, the key to success is practice. Absolutely. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more confident you'll be. Right. Um, don't be afraid to mock interview with friends, family, even in front of a mirror. Great advice. And for even more guidance, be sure to check out How to Becomes Resources. Yes, they've got tons of great stuff. Yeah, they have sample questions, answers. Downloadable guides. Downloadable guides. All sorts of things to help you yeah. ace that interview. So listeners, until next time, keep learning, keep growing. And keep diving deep. And to all our future nurses out there, go rock those interviews. Yeah, you got that. We believe in you.